In this video, I'm gonna show you how to trace any logo in Illustrator. So when you go on Pinterest or Behance, typically you'll find amazing logos and typically I'll type in like logo design in the search bar, as you can see here, logo design 2020. And then what I typically do is go through and scan and see what some logos are like. Obviously, I don't own any of these logos, they're from other designers, so you don't want to copy them. But maybe you're a new designer and you want to practice to learn how to get better at logo design. Or maybe you found something that is just inspiring you to create something really, really interesting. Right, so typically I'll go through and try and find certain things. Like even this one is really cool. So I love that. And typically what I'll do is I would right click, copy the image, and then paste it into Illustrator. So now you can see I've copied this cool mark. And what we're gonna do is trace it with the pen tool. So I'm going to lock this by pressing Control 2. You could also lock it by going to a new layer and just call this uh, logo and I can double click on this I can even dim the image maybe 60% and press OK and then I can lock this layer here with the little with the little lock there in the layers and now this is locked so what I'm going to do now is press P for the pen tool make sure I'm on the top layer here call this design so you can see my layers panel and I'm gonna change it to black then what I'm gonna do, I'll make the stroke maybe five points up the top left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to trace over this logo. Obviously this was probably made with circles and we can do it that way with a circle like this, just to start off the edge there, which is really cool. And then I'm gonna press C for the scissor tool, as you can see here to cut this part. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna cut it there like this. And now we have this part. So what I'm going to do is press P for the pen tool. Left click once on this anchor point so we can continue this. And I'm going to start to trace over this logo. And this is one way of easily tracing over a logo. So I'm going to find the end point here. And I'm going to hold shift to get this nice bend like that. And then I'll left click once on this point to get rid of the anchor point. And then I'll find this point, hold shift like this. Go all the way up to here. And then I'll left click. And I'll just hold Alt. And you can see this handle. You can see this bend is not too nice. So I'm going to get the handle and sort of move that around to get a nicer curve there. Make sure that the handle on the top there is fixed. Just fix that. Boom. I'm finding the edges and you can see this is like a very geometric and simplified logo which is really cool pull this inside like that and I'm holding alt or option if you're on a Mac and you can see I can drag this handle and it affects the actual curvature of that line and then to finish off this and like this which is really cool I can then go ahead and like customize so I can move around things around if I'm not liking the points and you can see this might need a little bit of tweaking there to fix that edge you can see here how this is a bit pointy so I can sort of maybe bring it to this point here so you can't see that bend and then push select these points so I can bring it across and then we've got like this little R trademark thing so that's pretty cool I'll show you how to do that we go to type and we want to click on glyphs and with glyphs you'll typically like have different symbols characters you know ligatures copyright symbols all those type of things we want to select the right font so some fonts don't have everything so I'm gonna select one of the fonts that I use and we'll see if it has it and I'm gonna find the, the copyright symbol uh, right here so then what we do is we press T for the type tool I'll click once and then I'll double click on the symbol here 
and you can see how it just added that as a text symbol. I'm going to close this. I'm going to scale this up and then put it here. And then I'm just going to go type and create outlines just to make a shape, which is super awesome. And I think that is looking great. So what I'm going to do is go and turn off my underscore layer here like this. And now we've just created this simple logo using just the pen tool. I'm going to maybe bump up the stroke. Maybe I want to make it thicker. I can also change the style of stroke. So you can see these ends are very pointy. I can actually make them round by changing the cap. So in my stroke panel on the right here, you can see I've got cap, corner, and a line stroke. You can click this little round cap and that should round off the lines. So I can make it rounded. You know, I can make it just straight cap. The corners, if I want to round the corners as well, as you can see like that, which I think kind of works really nice. I think that the round, round version will work cool as well. And I think that is looking great. And then we can go ahead and add like a background color. I'll add something from my libraries here. Maybe this green color. Yeah, there's so many different colors here. Maybe this one. And then I can make a duplicate here. I can just make the stroke white or even a cream color. And I'll maybe drop the stroke. And there we have it. That's how you trace a logo in Illustrator. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it was helpful. Just remember, don't copy people's logos. Use it as a way to practice, to practice your pen, pen tool skills, practice your shape building tools. But overall, it's a great way to learn as a designer and pretty much any logo can be traced with a bit of practice. And this is how I usually trace my logos when I'm you know, getting inspiration or want to practice. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It lets me know that you like these type of videos. And I hope you have a solid day.